Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise on my reverse osmosis system. So this one is a five stage reverse osmosis system. Before you get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button. If you're interested in subscribing, hit the bell icon when you want to be notified of new videos. And I really appreciate a thumbs up. Okay, let's get started. So I have a five stage reverse osmosis system here. So first stage is this one over here. And that's the sediment filter. That means all the dirt and everything on that. <clears throat> Next stage is the carbon filter. It's a carbon filter. And third stage is carbon filter as well, too. So fourth stage is a premium reverse osmosis membrane. And the last stage I have is this 10-inch uh, inline coconut carbon filter. That's really for taste and stuff like that. All right. So the one I have is from Apex Water, and this one works really well. Initially, it comes pretty much all set up for you, so you don't have to worry much. Um, if you have a water softener and you're feeding salt into it, definitely get a reverse osmosis system. And get one of these tools as well to check the water quality, how many particles in the water. So, you know, and it's relatively inexpensive. And you might know when you get some of these branches to open up the filter if you need to change it out. Very simple DIY. I'm sure some of the, the companies like Plumbers were able to do this as well too, besides some of the drinking water companies. Okay, let's get started here. All right, so I'm going to tell you my setup. It's a little bit special. First of all, you see the blue table over here, the water line? So the blue one, because I have PEX, means plastic tubing. So that connects to my junction over here. One of them goes to the cold water for the faucet. And the red one is the one that's coming out from, from this junction over here. That's going to feed into my reverse osmosis system. Okay, that comes into over here. And that's going to be stage one. So like I mentioned before, is the sediment filter. Then you got the carbon, and it goes through the carbon again. So how often do you change this? Well, it depends on your water quality. It could be anywhere from six months to a year and a half, maybe, for example. So you're going to measure your water quality with this tool before you decide when to change it and how often to change it. I found out in my case, these three get pretty dirty after a year and a half or so. And from the outflow over here, from the stage three, this line goes to this junction connection over here. All right. And basically comes out. Hard to see over here. I'm sorry, but uh, it, believe me, it comes out over here and it feeds into stage four. Reverse osmosis membrane. Then this one goes in over here and feeds out on this side. So you can see coming up over here, one in this, this, this junction over here is like this. One goes to the stage five and one goes to the yellow tubing. You could chase that back. It goes to the tank. So this tank is a reverse osmosis tank so it came with the apex water and the one that's feeding directly through the stage five and you can see over here there's feeding in and two outflows from the two junctions out and one of them goes to the faucet the clear one over here you can see Goes all the way up and it's up there. All right. And I have a uh, fridge. You know, I want to get clean, filter drinking water also in my fridge as well. So I don't want to directly connect to the, to the main water source. So what I do is I actually have this tubing over here. Over here, you can see that. It loops around and it goes down. Also has a shut-off switch, you know, a uh, water shut-off switch. And you can see that the white 
tubing becomes a clear tubing then goes underneath and it's going to go way underneath and loop around actually under under the counter and all the way to my fridge on the other side so that's basically my uh reverse osmosis system uh like i mentioned before the last stage is pretty much for a uh, carbon filter for taste and the water tastes funny you might want to look at this stage and maybe the membrane i would say every year and a half to two years maybe you want to change this part out so cost is relatively not too expensive uh but you know it depends on who which provider you purchase it from i think most plumbers and water softener companies can help you change the filters for price of course uh, hopefully this video helps you out i really appreciate a thumbs up comment to share please leave it below and i'll see you next time have a good one bye